fall is in the air and not only is this my favorite time of year because of the colors and the crisp, cool breezes and beautiful days, I also love bringing back all of my cozy, warm, hearty recipes. And oatmeal is a staple in our house. Not only does it feed a lot of people on a budget, but it's delicious. And we have some of our favorite recipes today that we wanna share with you. The thing I love about oats is that they are so versatile and affordable when you are feeding a large family. We love experimenting with hearty, delicious, and comforting recipes that warm you from the inside out. Today, I'm going to share with you our blueberries and cream oatmeal. To a medium saucepan, add in three cups of water, one and a half cups of old-fashioned rolled oats, a dash of salt, four tablespoons of pure maple syrup, three tablespoons of cream, one third cup of dried, fresh, or frozen blueberries. Our favorite is dried. We get ours from Country Life Naturals. We will leave the link in the description box below. One tablespoon of butter, one fourth teaspoon ground cinnamon, and one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix together and transfer to the stove. Cook on medium heat for around 10 minutes, stirring every few seconds as the oatmeal thickens to your desired consistency. I decided to toss in a few extra blueberries partway through cooking. Serve warm with a splash of cream and a sprinkle of cinnamon. My mom has memories of eating instant blueberries and cream oatmeal at her grandma Porter's house. This recipe not only nourishes, but also nurtures nostalgic memories. So last night, I wanted to take my oats and I needed to soak them. So I took four cups of oats and I took two cups of our homemade yogurt, which we have a video on how to make that and one cup of water and I mix that all up and I put I soaked it in the fridge overnight okay and you can even do this a day or two ahead of time as well so anyway it's all soaked and ready to go and now I've collected all my other ingredients and we're gonna throw this together okay so I, uh, I went and got this out of the fridge and now I'm gonna add some eggs to it we have four eggs Our four eggs in here. Mix these in. And uh, I know it sounds a little strange, but you know, as your homemade yogurt gets a little bit more sour, it makes this recipe even better. So it's um, it's a perfect way to use up maybe some of that yogurt where like the kids don't want to eat it, um, you know, straight and fresh with just some fresh fruit. If they are kind of like, oh no, it doesn't taste good. If it's a little sour, it's perfect for this recipe. Okay, so we've got our eggs in there. We are going to add in a cup of maple syrup. Can't go wrong with that. 
3 fourths cup of melted butter, teaspoons of baking powder, all right, get that in there, half of a teaspoon of salt, okay, two teaspoons of vanilla, Add a little bit more. All right, can't go wrong with that. Okay, we need to add a cup of our milk. Okay. Okay, let's get this all mixed in and incorporated. And then um, you have seen our video, or you can check out our video on how to make homemade applesauce. This stuff makes everything more delicious. So we throw this in here as kind of a filler, a good way to use it. So we're going to use a cup of our um, homemade cinnamon applesauce. So this is adding quite a bit of cinnamon into this recipe. That's probably a cup. <laughs> okay. And then last but not least, you're gonna add frozen fruit to this recipe. Honestly, you can use whatever frozen fruit you have. Uh, you can use peaches or frozen strawberries. It really doesn't matter, but today we're gonna use blueberries. And I'm gonna get one and a half cups of my frozen blueberries to add to this. So we've got that all mixed in, all incorporated. Now we're ready to put it into our cast iron. I like to use my 12 inch cast iron and I'm gonna butter it. Obviously cast, my cast iron's already oiled, but I'm just adding a little butter to it because we don't want it to stick and get ruined. So we'll do a quick butter on this. All right. We're gonna add all this goodness in there. And this ends up being enough for two full meals for my family, family of eight. So obviously if maybe you have adult children, it may not go as far. Or little kids, it might last even longer. Okay, so we're gonna add this in here. All right, now I'm gonna put this in the oven. 350 degrees, I already started it. 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes and I want it to get nice and caramely on top so we'll take a look in a few minutes when it's done. Okay, the oatmeal is done. It looks beautiful. My house smells amazing. We've got our maple syrup here ready to go and dish it out to everybody. I ended up leaving it in for closer to 50 minutes, just so you guys know. I wanted that beautiful caramely color on top, and that's what I got. Oatmeal is a standard breakfast item here in our house, and we love our baked oatmeal, but we also love an upgraded version of oatmeal that we call caramel apple oatmeal. So today I wanna to share that recipe with you. There is nothing better than a warm, delicious breakfast on a cool fall day. And this caramel apple oatmeal recipe is going to be a favorite for you and your family. First, we're going to peel, core, and chop up two large apples.
Now let's move over to the stovetop where we are going to get a few things going all at the same time. You're going to need a pot for your oatmeal, a cast iron for sauteing up your apples, and another pot for making your homemade caramel sauce, which is amazing, by the way. Let's get our water into our oatmeal pot and get that boiling. Next, let's add two tablespoons of butter to our cast iron and get those apples sauteed up until they are nice and caramelized. We are also gonna get our homemade caramel sauce going. Combine your pure maple syrup and heavy cream into the pot, along with a dash of salt. The caramel sauce takes a little bit of time, so make sure you have at least 20 minutes to let this reduce and thicken. Also, keep your eye on that caramel because it likes to bubble over. Once our oatmeal water is boiling, go ahead and add your organic oats and let them cook up until you have the texture and consistency that you like with your oatmeal. Once your apples are done, set them aside. Once your oatmeal is done, set that aside and give all of your attention to that beautiful homemade caramel. This is definitely not going to be a thick caramel, but one that can be drizzled easily on top of your oatmeal. You are going to want to let it reduce by at least half. Once your caramel is done, you can prepare breakfast for your family. Be careful though, you are going to want to eat this caramel all by itself, but you can do it. It's really better on top of the oatmeal. Enjoy.
caramel sauce makes it. It's so good. Mm. Hearty and delicious oatmeals are a perfect addition to any autumn menu. Today, I'm going to share with you one of our favorites, our peaches and cream oatmeal. To a medium saucepan, add in three cups of water, one and a half cups of old-fashioned rolled oats, a dash of salt, four tablespoons of pure maple syrup, three tablespoons of cream, one half cup of peeled and sliced peaches. You can also use frozen or dried peaches as well. One tablespoon of butter, one fourth teaspoon ground cinnamon, and one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix together and transfer to the stove. Cook on medium heat for around 10 minutes, stirring every few seconds as the oatmeal thickens to your desired consistency. Serve warm and garnish with peach slices and a spoonful of our peach peel jelly. If you want to learn how to make it yourself, check out our recipe video in the description box below. The wonderful thing about this recipe is that you can use just about any kind of fruit in place of the peaches, but peaches are definitely the favorite in this household.